friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm going to be testing the latest Uber Lux makeup from brands like Christian Louboutin, Givenchy, Westman Atelier, Clé de Peau, Dolce Gabbana, Lisa Elrich, Olivia Palermo, and much more. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this look using the latest and greatest from the luxury makeup world, then just keep on watching. Today I'm gonna to be trying some uber luxe makeup. Believe me that when I was gone from YouTube, that doesn't mean that I wasn't browsing and checking what was new in the luxury world, what was new in makeup, and there has been some great lunches lately. So I have here things from Clé de Peau. I have their new Radiant Fluid Foundation in the natural version. Last year they came out with a matte version. So I went ahead and picked up this friend right here. I also picked up the new Westman Atelier. This is the their lip suede so they came out with another lip suede that it was more into the red pinkish tones I think two years ago but when <laughs> as soon as I knew that a natural was coming I was like mm, yeah give it to me please and then I have this Olivia Palermo prime time it's an illuminating serum Olivia Palermo, she was so kind and sent it to me. I was like, what? She sent me a few other things, but today I really want to try this. Then Givenchy just launched their Prince Livre blushes. So I picked up two of them. Also, I made a purchase with Lisa Elridge. So I have here a full bag of goodies. I think I'm going to try perhaps that Elevated Glow. I think I'm gonna try that. Also I have here from Dolce & Gabbana, I have the Illuminating Powder Duo. And we have here some more Christian Louboutin. So yeah, we are charged right here with a lot of goodies and I'm just super excited to start with this. So let's first go with, okay, because I'm gonna be trying a new foundation and this foundation is, it's again radiant but it's not matte it's more natural finish and then I have this Olivia Palermo serum prime serum it's supposed to be an illuminating prime serum so I want to just check it out perhaps I will do half my face with the primer and half my face without the primer so let's see if we do that so look at this bottle I love the packaging from Olivia Palermo so classy, so feminine, so modern, yet sleek, so beautiful. So it doesn't seem like it's super liquidy. I guess, I mean, this is a dropper form. Yes, it is a dropper. So let me just put a little bit on my hand. Okay, there's no, there's no sparkles, but there is, I mean, it's illuminating. It does have kind of like a reflectiveness to it. And it feels really nice on the skin. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I do have dry, sensitive, mature skin. I'm already on my fourth floor. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it on this side of my face, the primer. And then on the other side, we're going to go just blank with nothing. So that way we can see the finish of the foundation. So just go ahead and apply a little bit. Do you remember these, like with the uh, unicorn drops? <laughs> it was all over Instagram. Um, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of memory lane right there. It was like, what, two years ago? It was for Sally, right? That they had some drops like these. Now, it does have, no, I mean, I don't, I think it's a natural scent. There's nothing floral. Yeah. It just smells kind of clean. I don't think it's fragrance. Let me just check right here on the box. Okay, first ingredient is water. It does have glycerin. It does have fragrance. So yeah, the fragrance is kind of like a clean cotton type of fragrance. I have castor oil too. Sodium hyaluronic. Very nice. It's not like super illuminating, but you can see the difference. This area here looks a little bit more quote-unquote dual 
on this side looks a little bit more healthy there's like I said there's no shimmer nothing like glitter or anything like that and now let's go with that new Clé de Paul foundation I'm not sure if this is yet available in USA by the way I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm trying today on the description box below for your convenience and all of them will have their respective links by the way my links most of them are affiliate links so when you shop through my links you're supporting my channel and I greatly greatly appreciate it I bought this friend right here I think it was in Cool Beauty? Yeah, Cool Beauty, I think it was. Or Harrods, one or the other. Again, I will be leaving all the details in the description box below. So, last year I tried the Radiant Fluid Foundation in matte. Now, I have this one in the shade B30, I think it is. Yeah, B30, medium beige. And this time around, I don't know what happened with me, but I got B40, which is light tan beige. She may be a little bit deep for my skin tone, but at the same time, I still have a ton and you know it's summertime so it, I mean it should be fine for right now it's gonna be my summer shade perhaps now this baby right here has a shelf life of 24 months it's made here in USA it says that it's a hybrid makeup and skincare exclusive light empowering enhancer amplifies your radiant finish oh that sounds good to me okay all right so let's just give it a go now let's see the difference on packaging okay so for the matte version the packaging is glass frosted and then the bottle on the new one on the natural one it's just um transparent glass transparent so that's the main difference the cup is the same size is the same 35 ml or 1.1 ounces it says right here shake well with the cap fully closed oh yeah you can hear it's more liquidy okay there you go <laughs> there you go i think the shade will be good for me let's see yeah i think the shade will work it looks a little bit warm but i think with a tan it should be fine so there you go i'm gonna leave it right here on my hand and you know what? Let's do something. Let's try on the matte version. And I'm just gonna swatch it down below. So there you go. This is B30. Yeah, so you can tell. Yeah, B30 is kind of my ideal shade during like the winter and colder months. And I'm using about a quarter of a pound for half of my face. I like to go lightly with my makeup i don't like to pile up too much i do have a light to medium skin tone i do have large pores right here i do have freckles that i do not like to cover them but i like to camouflage them and you know what funny fact while i was moving from florida to california i find out on my stash this bag right here of hashtag super sponge <laughs> You know, it, I'm like, I never use this sponge and I'm like, you know what, I really need a sponge and this looks so pretty and I think this sponge I bought it perhaps two years ago, I think Tati was the one who made it very popular and by the way, do you know Tati's bag? Wow, I know, I know, it makes me excited because I really like Tati, I enjoy her content, you know, I mean... The beauty community there has been so many hiccups but i mean i like to hear her perspective in the aspect of you know what it has to do with makeup and beauty the rest we can leave it aside but anyhow i found this baby right here and it has some silicone on top which is supposed it says right here to reduce i mean it's antibacterial basically it kind of like acts like a barrier and it's very absorbent so let's see a light to medium coverage for some people this will be kind of more towards the medium coverage but like i said i do have a lot of freckles and some sun spots here and there so for some people again like me just like medium for some people maybe kind of like a medium coverage 
so far it's looking really pretty let me just apply a little bit more I do have a little bit of redness right now on my cheeks so I just want to make sure I can I can flush a little bit that I'm just applying again like quarter or less than a quarter of a pump It does have a little bit of a scent, not strong, but kind of like a very fresh kind of scent. It's a beautiful finish. It's radiant, but it's not dewy or super, super glowy. And it's very lightweight. Okay, now let's go ahead and try it on this side right here. And then it's, again, liquidy but not super liquidy to the point of being runny is more like a gel kind of consistency I think that color match is actually really good right now with my skin tone yeah I think it's just perfect right now and it's so natural I mean like you don't see it like you don't see it sitting on your face and then as far as the difference right here, I think the difference is very, very minimal. I mean, like, the primer is nothing that is going to give you so much of, like, a super glow, you know, like, you know, too much. I think, I mean, either way, this right here didn't change a lot. The foundation, I guess, if you actually mix it in with the foundation in a little, like, dish tray, you know, it will be different. But other than that, oh my goodness, I'm liking this quite a bit. Okay, friends, I don't have a new concealer to try on right now, so let me go ahead and speed up the process, get my concealer going and my brows, and then we continue with the rest. Concealer and brows are done, and now let's jump into bronzer. I got right here the Dolce Gabbana Solar Glow in the shade 4 Bronze Feeling. It comes in a beautiful black velvet pouch. It says Dolce Gabbana right there. And oh, look at the packaging right here. It's like this to die for. So pretty. So pretty. Actually, they just came out with a cushion foundation and I'm really tempted to get it. So tempted to get it. Oh my gosh. Look at this beauty right here. So you have a highlighter and also a bronzer. And this one comes also on a lighter version. So there's two versions. This one and again the lighter one. Using my Refer 24 brush, and I'm just digging into the bronzer. That's how much it picked up. Let's see how this goes. By the way, the foundation it kind of has set already. Ooh, this is really you not know, like reddish in tone. You, I don't know if I like this shade. It has a lot of pigment too. Yeah, it's a little bit. I mean, I shouldn't say like super red, but it's warmer in tone has a little bit of kind of like terracotta undertone in it okay actually the bronzer diffuse really really well but it's really a warm tone shade so this shade actually will work good for also those who have medium medium tan skin tone and even tan skin tone if you want just a little bit more definition, you know, this is not super deep on my skin tone, but you know, like it's good right now that I'm, you know, a little bit more bronze. And I really like the formula too because it was really easy to blend. I mean, I don't see any patches, nothing. Really nice formulation. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this Christian Louboutin eyeshadow palette. Now, if you haven't seen, I have done already a review on, I have, this is a second palette. So I have two different palettes from the brand. And this one is called Bronze Elui. So pretty. This is kind of like your everyday kind of shades. Very, very beautiful. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch right here. And I really enjoy this formulation because you can see it does have a little bit of a big chili formula on these shades right here that has the python and then you get right here on a press formula a little bit more of like metallic shades too and on this palette different from the other one that I review it does have a matte shade which 
that's something that I felt like the other palette needed to look at this shade right here. Oh, I love this shade. I think I want to use this shade. There you go. First I'm going with this shade over here. And I'm gonna apply it above the crease. Ooh, that shade is so pretty. It's a very light rose gold. Now with this shade over here, and I'm gonna apply it from the middle of the eyelid to the outer third. I'm gonna go to this champagne shade. I'm gonna use the same shade, but I'm gonna intensify it with a little bit of Matte Fix Plus. Going out with this shade right here, and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line. Refer 29 brush, and I'm gonna go to the deepest shade. And I'm going to apply it very close to my lower lash line, just to define it. I'm going to use Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. Patrick Ta Eyeliner in Deep Bronze. And this is going on my waterline. Bright Beauty Absolute Mascara. Now that I'm done with the eyes, let's jump into blushes. And I have here the new Givenchy Prism Libre blushes in the shades 2 Taffeta Rose and 3 Volet Coral. So let's just take a look right here. Okay, so, ooh, this is such a beautiful shade. Like pinky, pinky, pinky. And then this one right here is a coral tone. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so hard. Which one should I choose? Pink or coral? Like even the logo it looks so pretty. I think I'm gonna go with a coral. Oh, so cute. And this is a smaller size than the Prince Libre setting powder. So it comes with a little protector right there. This is just so cute. <laughs> Love this shade, so pretty. It's not super corally in tone, it does have a little bit of warmth in it because there's a mixture here of peach, coral. I'm gonna put some on my nose too. Just a little more right there. Ooh. Such a pretty blush. And you know what? It does have a very subtle scent. If you're sensitive to scents, you're going to notice it. When you open it up, it's pretty noticeable. But then it fades away. It's kind of like a floral scent. Yeah, just like a very minimal floral scent. Okay, friends. And now let's go for this highlighter from Lisa Elrich. This is the Elevated Glow. And I got it in the shade Crystal Nebula. She came out, I think, that four shades or more shades I honestly do not recall and I decided to go with this one this one now is the one that she demo on her reveal video now this comes with a doe food applicator very very much kind of like um the flawless um it's it called the Hollywood flawless finish from Charlotte Tilbury so I'm just gonna swatch it right here um, by the way, 
if you want to check back on the foundation this is a lighter b30 this is b40 the one that i'm wearing right now it does have like it's noticeable there's a little bit of more radiance and more of like natural finish with the new natural version than the matte version so pretty okay let's go for this crystal nebula it looks so pretty it does have a little bit of translucency to it just gonna use my finger i'm just gonna tap and then with my clean finger i'm just gonna spread wow it looks gorgeous gorgeous it makes your skin look wet and you know although i'm a little bit tanner right now it doesn't look too light for my skin tone it actually looks very beautiful like it's reflecting light so pretty look at that oh my goodness lisa lisa she always does amazing every year when it comes around this time and she's launching something i'm all about it i not only got that i got lipsticks i also got blushes right here so i got two blushes and lipsticks let me know if you want to see a full-on review or just at least swatches of these products from lisa i know i think all of them they are sold out or the majority of them i know she's gonna be restocking them but let me know if you want to see that or not but yeah or i can even do it on instagram or do a short video you just have to let me know but this looks so pretty oh so so lovely and then for lipstick i do have this westman atelier lip suede in lenou and i love the packaging from gucci westman look at this isn't it this lovely the little canvas pouch so pretty it says westman atelier there light pink and oh my gosh this is heavyweight compact so lovely i'm not a person that really uses too much of these type of lipstick palettes but you know what i have heard the best things about her previous lip suede the original one that i'm like you know what i really want to give it a try look at this baby right here so gorgeous so so gorgeous I feel about to even try it so I think I want to go I mean you can actually mix them in and do your own concoction right there but I think I just want to go ahead and perhaps just use this lighter pink shade right here and actually it looks like suede on that pan very interesting texture too light for my skin tone let's go for this one perhaps hmm, let's see I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Scott Barnes number 60 brush and I'm just gonna dig in and see if it goes with my skin tone you know what it's very light this shade right here and this shade right here I mean it looks okay but it's very light for my skin tone um, let's see I'm just gonna dig in a little more I like the formula but I'm not convinced on the shade let's go for this shade right here and see how much it gives me of payoff there you go this shade has a little bit more depth but the other ones are just too light for my lips which I'm surprised it doesn't seem like in the pan here looks better I actually really like the formula it's kind of like a satin 
more sheer type of finish. It doesn't have really well my lip, my natural lip shade. This shade right here, the deeper one. The other ones right here, they are very light for my lips. As you build that, you can see the shade is so pretty. I like this shade a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. That upper shade right there. The other ones I will have to work it with perhaps a lip liner because they're, I have very pigmented lips, so I think I need to work it a little. Okay, friends, and here you go. This is my final makeup look using this Uber Lux new makeup, new launches. I mean, a lot of these products they just launched within the last two weeks and I will have to say that I'm very happy with my makeup look. I'm really really impressed with these Louis Vuitton eyeshadows. The formulation is really good. No fallout, beautiful pigmentation. If you have texture on your eyelids or you have a lot of folds like mine, don't be afraid of this formula. This is a really good formula that doesn't emphasize your, you know, all those fine lines. The foundation is gorgeous it looks so beautiful and even with the primer i will have to say the primer if you mix in this a little bit more say for example with this matte formula of this clay depot foundation it will make it a little bit more luminous beautiful primer so far i mean it's looking gorgeous oh, i love everything the blushes from Givenchy. wow so so pretty stunning I mean, Lisa Elrich has done amazing job with her products always. I'm mean, like, Lisa, she knows what she's doing. I mean, I can, I always indulge when Lisa Elrich comes out with some products because they are amazing. And then this Westman Atelier Lip Suede in Le Nudes. Very beautiful. I will have to play around with the lightest shades with a lip liner and check them out. I really love this shade right here. It's kind of like my lips back better. Super pretty. Super happy with my makeup today. And now I would love to know from you, my friends, have you gotten any of these products right here? Have you been eyeing them? Perhaps they are on your wish list. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Goodbye!